Hi guys! Oh my god! <laughs> We're back! The Welcome. bitches are back! Welcome. Bitches in pajama! Do 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 Welcome to the March Madness podcast, where we just do March hey. Madness brackets all the time. And guess what we're doing today? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch, we got Spark <coughs> Madness up in here. Also, I'm going to be coughing a bit. I apologize. Sickness oh, yeah, I forgot around. she's dying. I, yeah, I'm dying. It's just a thing. You're going to hear this for I a while. I also have a donut. <coughs> and I have apples. Pretty much this podcast is going to be a mess. Oh, and we're back, by the way. Yeah, no, it's been it's been a little while, if you were yeah. actually paying attention. Um, but, like, honestly, it's early in the morning when we're filming this. I mean, it's, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> it's early in the morning. I woke up an hour ago because I was up till 3 a.m. Jesus Christ, Emily. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm eating my breakfast. So live with that. Fair enough. Sounds fair to me. Cool. Mm. Um, but we're doing Starch Madness, and we're doing a fast food bracket today because it is a food-based... Oh my god, we're so smart! What? It's a food-based podcast, and we're eating food. It's fine. We planned this. Sorry, ignore everything we just said. <laughs> we completely planned this. None of this is a, is a mess or a coincidence at all. No. <laughs> totally planned. But, see, okay, look. It's March. And everyone's focused apparently on basketball, to be honest. No one I no know is talking about it. But I'm sure someone out there is really excited about there it. There is so. one person out there saying, basketball, woo! So the funny thing is, it's actually way more than that. We just don't know those people. And honestly, I... <laughs> Can't know, relate. I was going to say I'm glad, and then I'm like, okay, that, that's kind of offensive. But I, I love you guys, but we like food better. So I like gonna everything. Do... Better. Better. You know what? Okay, basketball games are actually really fun to watch in person. I played basketball because I was very tall yeah. when I was a child, and then everybody caught up. Happens. Um, but like, I was like the tallest girl in my grade for like a really long time. So like in middle or elementary school, like I played basketball, <coughs> but like I wasn't good and I didn't want to do it. But they were like, "You're tall." I wonder how they do that. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. Um, yeah, so which one would you start with? Mm, honestly, I think we're going to get in a bigger fight in the spuds department. <laughs> so we'll go fast food first. Cool. I mean, that, that's debatable, though. We'll see. No. We'll see. I think, I think, I think <coughs> in the strictly potato Oh, yeah, I already field. know, I already know, like I said, I already know what my winner was going to be straight off the bat, and you're probably not going to be too surprised by it. Once probably not at all. hear it. Like um, you're not going to agree with me. But legitimately, I think, like, we could have fighting words over ah. potatoes. Fast food, I it, am more... I'm not going to fight, but I'm going to be stubborn. Yeah, I'll accept more so with fast All food. Right. Anywho. Let's go. Also, if you've... Sorry, before we completely start. If you watch our Disney bracket, <laughs> you always think that one is going to win. But I feel like it never like somehow actually wins. it doesn't. It's like somehow the one that like you, you actually would pick out of all these doesn't somehow win. It, it's very interesting. Yeah. Like, be, I think it's partially because like especially with things like this, it's like it's different kinds of fast food. It's like pizza yeah. versus like burgers. And I mean, yeah, yeah, this yeah, one was know? really difficult because I was like, bitch, I got something for every mood. Yeah. What mood am I in? Well, anyway, you could tell what mood I was in by the end of this, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, do. I feel like there are certain ones I would definitely pick over my winner here in certain times. But yeah. in general, I look at it and I'm like, yeah, my winner is probably, like, if I had to pick a favorite fast food place, yeah, yeah that's probably Also, it. my, like, legitimate favorite right now isn't on this list. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I've wait a minute. I've been hardcore obsessed <laughs> with Raising Cane's. Um, fried chicken so all day. <laughs> oh, my God. Just big It's ruined chicken. my life. But in the best way possible. It's kind of expensive, though. When I went and looked at it, I'm like, it seemed kind of expensive. Or just no, it's really about big. the same as every, like, fast food meal. Okay. And honestly, you get a fuck ton of food. Okay, fair. I didn't really see how Because, like, we went, we went to Wendy's last night. My meal was $11. Oh, you know, I forget fast food is actually kind of expensive now. Yeah. I don't eat a ton of fast food. I pretty yeah. much get McDonald's more often now just because I'm a lazy piece of shit. But even McDonald's, like, a meal will yeah, cost McDonald's you, like, 10 bucks. Even McDonald's is now actually expensive now that I think about it. I was yeah. like, it used to be That was really probably great audio, sorry. 
I was straight. <laughs> oh, you were like putting. Yeah. I'm just, how dare you? Anyway. I was yeah, scraping like, sugar off my <laughs> teacup. <laughs> Let's get started. So we have McDonald's versus Little Caesars. I don't know if I've ever been to Little Caesars. I'm not going to lie. It's probably okay, but I picked McDonald's. Well, okay. So I picked McDonald's. I've never been to Little Caesars, but my dad gets an actual, like, like body, like... He hates it? Yeah. Like, Little what Caesars. What is it? Is it pizza? It's pizza. That's what I thought. It's the little guy that goes, pizza, pizza. <laughs> and... But it was, like, it used to be, like, $5 pizzas. Oh, and like, wait. Oh. And you could, like, if you went to the restaurant, like, they had, like, I think, like, rows of pizza, and you could just, like, grab slices. Yeah. You know, I think like, I actually might have had their pizza before. I just didn't remember. Um, Very unbearable. But, I mean, and I'm sure they've gotten better. I've heard they've gotten better over the years. Yeah. But back, like, when I was a kid, they we never, like, <laughs> it was the worst place to go. Fair. It was like the Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> of Chuck E. Cheese is just being shit time. on a lot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but the sad thing is, is I fucking love Chuck E. Cheese and I wanted to have my birthday at Chuck E. Cheese, <coughs> but like no one would go with me. It's fine. It's, I don't have friends. <laughs> but yeah, McDonald's. I mean, if for no other reason, I just I like Big Macs, honestly. I just do. I oh, like I don't the chicken nuggets too. I was gonna say when I go to McDonald's, I don't order. You pretty much just order chicken nuggets. Yeah. Uh, I already I know. I don't order. eat for, Yeah. I know her McDonald's <laughs> order now because whenever I'm going home and I'm just like I feel like McDonald's. She's like me too, and I'll be like. <laughs> and then we both that, get. The sad thing is, is like you could take that as like, oh my god, they're roommates. Coincidence. They always went McDonald's. No, it's like her being like, I want McDonald's, and I'll be like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Literally just, yeah. If I offer, she's bound to say yes. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to say no if you're bringing home McDonald's. <coughs> Especially if it's chicken nuggets. Like, for her, she yeah. orders her chicken nuggets. She gets ranch. She has her Coke and fries. Girl, and love I... you. <laughs> it's 20 piece, by the way. And, uh, sometimes... Usually. Sometimes you, sometimes you get a little less. But, but normally... You might as well, right? Yeah. Normally, <laughs> when I text her... Like, because sometimes I'll text her and be like, girl, you want to pick up McDonald's? Yeah, she's done that too. <laughs> Normally, it's because I'm having an emotional crisis and I'm like, I need 20 nuggets in my life Fair. to feel this empty, gaping hole. <laughs> like, I pretty much just get, I get a Big Mac and then I also get, like, their sausage, egg, and cheese patty. Like, you know, breakfast food. I don't know mm -hmm. why I want both, but I want both. Yeah, it's got jelly. Yeah, but she's eating the Voodoo Donut, but it's got jelly. I, you didn't know that? I don't remember there being jelly in here. It's only in the stomach. That's so interesting. I, I mean, that makes that. sense. <laughs> Voodoo donuts, guys. They delicious. So good. They're really good. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Move on. Uh, Quiznos versus Dairy Queen. I did Dairy Queen. Same. Definitely. And the, here's the thing. I can't really have dairy anymore. <laughs> but I still fucking love Dairy Queen. I haven't eaten it in a long time because I can't. Mm -hmm. But I will support Dairy Queen to the ends of the earth. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, so. 100%. Um, banana milkshakes bomb. <coughs> Bum. I don't. Really Quiznos is subs. Yeah, Quiznos is subs. Um, um, I already have another favorite sub place, and that's yeah. on the next on another bracket. Exactly. And I still so. love them. Uh, but anyway, okay. Jack in the Box and Five Guys. I and I only picked Five Guys because I had a because it was we would go there after school. It was just a thing. Like there's sentimental mm -hmm. value attached to Five Guys for me. Jack in the Box, I'm sure is good, but I'm not gonna lie. I think I've only had one taco from there. <laughs> yeah. No. Despite living in California, which, like, Jack in the Box thrives in California. No, I don't really care about it. <laughs> it's not good. Like, Jack in the Box is drunk food. Jack in the Box is the food. That makes sense, because I would used to take drunk friends to Jack in the Box. Yeah. It's literally the place that you go. <coughs> like, on the East Coast, we had, like, Wawa or Sheets. And that's normally... I never had any of those. <laughs> you didn't have Wawa or Sheets? I mean, maybe somewhere, but not anywhere in my county. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I've heard of it. I know what it is, but I don't think I've ever stopped at one. Maybe Sheets once. Yeah, I know. You, we've talked about this before, actually. I don't remember this conversation. <laughs> that's the full East Coast has that. That's you why know, I'll... Montgomery County is like almost not even East Coast sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's just um, D.C. Well, then what did you drive your friends to like when they were drunk? or like? I never did in Maryland. 
because okay. I got back and I lived at home, so I didn't really oh. get drunk that often. Okay. <laughs> well, on the East Coast, like, whenever you go out for a night of drinking and you need, like, fuel at the end of the night, like, it normally was, you go to Sheets or Wawa, depending on, like, what area you're in. In the West Coast, I've noticed it's either in and out or Jack, Jack in the, the Box. Box. And Jack in the Box is the true, like, it's only good when you're intoxicated. I just realized we have our air on. Um, we'll turn it off later. Yeah, just know so that deal with we it now. actually have the heat on now. We haven't had that since, yeah. like, when we were recording before we didn't have it on. But it's actually gotten really cold, so we turned it on. Yeah. Because we don't like cold, being cold. Uh-uh. When we wake up in the morning. Anyway. Right. But yeah, no, I actually I actually really like Five Guys. I always enjoy I when too. I go to Five Guys. And honestly, I have a sentimental value with Five Guys, too, to yeah. be honest. I, it, I feel like that's a thing with Five Guys. It's like, if you like Five Guys, it's because you have some sentimental value attached to yeah. it. For me, it was like after exam period, we would all get like a giant large fry. And they had like, you know, that bag of fries. Yeah. You remember that? And we'd all share. It was just a thing. Yeah, see, um, when I used to... Uh, <coughs> or the Peanuts. Like, oh, the peanuts, peanuts are oh, great. I love that. The um, peanuts. <laughs> for me, Five Guys... Uh, so, I lived in New Jersey. My cousin, Caitlin, lived in Pennsylvania. And we would have to go through Lancaster, Pennsylvania, to get to her house. Mm-hmm. And that was exactly, like, the halfway mark, mm-hmm. pretty much, was Lancaster. So, no matter where, like, what time we were going, mm-hmm. we always planned, like, lunch or dinner um, to be in Lancaster because it was the perfect, like, halfway mark to, like, pee or do whatever. Mm-hmm. And my dad would always take us to Five Guys because we didn't have Five Guys. Like, at that time, Five Guys hadn't, like, reached us. Interesting. So, that was, like, the thing. Like, going up to Is see there, Caitlin. Like, five Guys out here? Or, or yeah, there's Five Guys everywhere. Oh, they are. Okay, that's what I was wondering. They're literally like, in London. Like... Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, good. Good to know. <laughs> like, they're everywhere. I don't remember if we had them in Missouri. I'm sure they were yeah. somewhere, but maybe not in Columbia. I well, like when, like back in the know. day, like they were a very small, but they've grown, yeah, extremely. Like there's five guys. I all still love five guys. I really do. Yeah, no, they're really good. Um, but yeah, so I have like that sentimental. Like I also think I liked their burgers, like their patties. Uh huh. See, like they were juicy. Yeah, I think that's why I really like them. They were like they're really juicy. Yeah. I haven't gone to them in a long time. Not gonna lie, but we'll have to go. Yeah, can we actually do that at one point? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, we digress from Five Guys. We're Five well, Guys fans. We like Five Guys, okay? So it's just a thing. <laughs> um, checkers versus KFC. KFC wins hands down. Oh, yeah. 100%. Fucking love KFC. Fucking mashed potatoes. Honestly, I had Oh, the oh, popcorn the chicken the popcorn in the mashed bread. potatoes. Oh. They're, they have good side dishes. And you don't oh, see that a lot. Yes. Oh, my God. They're biscuits place. and they're mac and cheese. Oh. <laughs> they're biscuits. I used to love their mac and cheese, too. And I didn't actually like mac and cheese at the time. Oh, yeah, because you hated <coughs> cheese for I a lot like of your life. I didn't like cheese for a long time, but I like Fucking their weird. mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Specifically. KFC is one of those things. It's like, I feel they had really good side dishes, like, you know, unlike most fast food yeah. places to me anyway. It's yeah. like, you want their side dishes. Yeah. Like, the compliments. Anyway, uh-huh. KFC, clear winner. Yeah. There's no, I don't even fucking, what, what is Checkers? Is that a burger place? Yeah. Okay, well. Like I burger shake place? I, I'm sure, uh, oh yeah, so it's kind of like a steak and shake, but not yeah. a steak and shake. Because steak and shake is way better. <laughs> Checkers is actually kind of more like Carl's Jr. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't oh, know. wait, no, that's Hardee's and Carl's. I don't know. It's I don't, kind even, of like, I don't even know. Yeah. Look, I'm going to tell you guys right straight up, like, I don't, I didn't grow up eating a lot of fast food. So a lot of these, I don't really know what they are, or I've heard of them, passed by them, but don't. I haven't really been. Like, I've been in and out once. And honestly, I don't remember what I even got. A burger. Probably. I mean, I think that's all they have. Yep. <laughs> burger and fries. I don't know what it tastes like. I mean, honestly, I didn't even really go to McDonald's much. I didn't go to Taco Bell Oh, we went to in and out together. Oh, did we? Yeah. I don't remember. I'm sure it happened. <laughs> it was on our way to look at our apartment. Oh, well, there we go. It happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. Taco Bell didn't go to until college. Like, hmm? like I literally did not go to a Taco Bell until college. I mean, I'm sure I went to one, but I didn't eat anything. That hurts. There's just a lot of a lot of things. Just we just didn't do it as yeah. a family. My dad cooked a lot. Yeah. We didn't. The only like takeout we got was like Chinese takeout, and you'll understand this kind of later in the next bracket, actually. Yeah. Um. Anyway, <coughs> Burger next, King okay. and I Zaxby's. Zaxby's. I want to say Zaxby's was. I want to say Zaxby's was almost like a Nando's. But I don't know. Oh. I don't think I've been. I've never I'm not heard sure. of that. I'm really not sure. I might be entirely wrong. But for some reason, I feel like their like m- mascot is like a chicken. 
Oh. But I can't remember. <laughs> I didn't want to look any of these up too, because that I don't, yeah, because yeah, you don't you don't want to do that. You're supposed to do this like you know based on what you think. Mm-hmm. Um, so if someone tell me what fucking Zach's is, or maybe I'll look it up after. Yeah, I, I chose Burger King because I didn't really know what it was. Yeah, see, Burger King is like my least favorite fast food I'm ever. Sure same. Like I really kind of despise Burger King. Actually, for um, me that's kind of Wendy's. I don't really like Wendy's. Okay. But there's a specific reason why you don't like Wendy's. Yeah, I've had and a it fly has in my food. Nothing to do with the actual food. And when I no. fed you fries yesterday, you loved them. Oh yeah, the them. Wendy, the Wendy's fries are very good. So I bet you actually like Wendy's. Probably. It just twice I went. One time the food was actually cold, and one time there was a fly in our food. So really, I just have. And it's been ten years since I actually like ate it, besides the fries yesterday. Yeah. So honestly, I can't say. But I, I'm just, I'm just being bitter about something that happened like ten years ago. Yeah. But Burger King to me is like the actually. I lied. Jack, <coughs> Jack in the Box is the bottom of the barrel, and then comes Burger King. I wouldn't really know. I haven't been to Burger King that many times. Yeah, I just I don't like it. It's kind of. I think of I used scum. to want to like Burger King over McDonald's because like everyone liked McDonald's, and I wanted to be like opposite, contrary to them. Yes, yeah, but I didn't really like either of them at the time. Oh, I also have a Burger King sticker on the back of I my say, phone. I like I like I the Burger King crowns. I like that they give you crowns. Yeah, that's the only reason why. <laughs> The only reason why I went to Burger King as a kid was, one, because I got a crown when I walked in, and two, they had a, that was the only place with, like, a playground. Mmm. I think I also had playgrounds. Mine, anyway, I mean, it depends mine did, but they got rid of it when I was really, really young, Mm. so Burger King was the only place that continued to have it. Okay. They also had a throne in their playroom. So you could sit on the throne, and it was always a battle of... Who, who was got, the royal who oh, got that's to sit so in the throne? Funny. Kids would do that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's right. be honest, I won. Popeyes versus Panera's. I actually do like Popeyes. Oh, but, I fucking love Popeyes. But Panera. But yeah. And, okay, so, we're, so we're, we're, in, we're in agreement for all these so far. We're mm-hmm. about to not be in agreement. I'm, I'm absolutely certain, and you're not going to like me for it. No, nope, it's fine. Um, I figured. Um, but I like Panera. Panera. I, just, yeah. Yeah. Panera is also one of the places. It just it almost is like a nice sit down restaurant, and you get actually really nice food. It's got a nice variety. Like you can go yeah. for breakfast and lunch, and dinner, and yeah, I, yeah. I think Panera is no, one of the really, things I can go to in any mood. Yeah. No, I really fuck with Panera. Um, <coughs> also, the fact that um, I can get macaroni and cheese in a bowl of bread. You can do that. Like, makes me happy because all I want to do is fuel Their myself. Their pumpkin muffin tops are bomb. And that's the only reason, that's the reason why we started really liking Panera. Because we went for their pastries. Oh. And, like, at first. That's how, that's how our family did it. My mom would go out and she'd get like a bear con, an apple fritter, and like the pumpkin muffin tops. And that was like, that was the best Sunday breakfast. We were like, pumpkin muffin that's tops. That's hysterical. <laughs> See, I, okay. So, Panera does like this, well, at least a Panera that w- lived or was near my cousin, mm-hmm. um, they do this really cool thing where, like, if their stuff doesn't sell in a certain point in time, mm-hmm. um, they th- they're going to throw it out, but they'll donate it. So um, my, cu- like, my aunt and uncle are very uh, into the church, and basically what would happen is, like, every other Sunday or something – he would go to Panera and they would give him all the extra bread and pastries oh, and like all that so stuff. Cool. And they would bring it to their house on like Saturday night so that Sunday they could take it out. But because I'm a shady lady and I love Panera, I would go in there and I'd be like, what we got? And like, I love their oatmeal cookies and I would like steal mm. all the oatmeal cookies and just like sit and like eat them because they're so fucking good. So like I would try to pick out like all the good stuff that I want. Okay. Yeah, my yeah, aunt. That's the way to every, do it. Every once in a while, my aunt would also like be like, "This is a good <laughs> loaf of bread. This loaf of bread is mine." <laughs> like, every so often, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I also went to their like not like I wouldn't go to their house very often. But there were there was a few times where like my cut co- or Caitlin would be like, "Oh yeah, that's uh, Panera weekend." And I'd be like, "Let's See go." You then. <laughs> <laughs> See you in four hours, bitch. Because <laughs> it's you Panera boy. weekend. Oh. Yeah, we never did that. Yeah. Never did that. I mean, I'll, I don't think a lot of people have that experience, but, like... I think Panera is just, like, nice. Like, it's, like, compared to other fast food, it's, like, it's just kind of nice. Mm-hmm. Makes you feel a little I, bougier. Like, I almost feel like Panera isn't... Like, really it's a tier food? above, like, yeah. fast food. It may but... not actually be considered fast. I'm not really sure. But mm-hmm. anyway, again, I digress. Okay, here we go. Sonic Panda Express. I fucking love Sonic. 
But, oh, oh. But. I was going to say, we agree that. <laughs> no, I was like, no. Well, I, I, this is, I, I decided yeah. to preface it with that because I really do like Sonic. Uh-huh. I like the I love the atmosphere of like, driving through in it. Like, I love their, like, what are those slushy things oh, that you get yeah. there? Oh, oh, they're so good. Oh, Especially when you have, like, the nerds oh, in them. Oh, so good. Honestly, I don't know too much about their food because I didn't really order it pretty much as good time. Because we had it right across the street in college. Like, we were just like, it was right there. And we would just go, how are you so skinny? I didn't get it that often. Oh. <laughs> I didn't really actually get it that often. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> but anyway, but, you know, I actually, like, I cooked about as much as I cook here. So, like, it, it pretty yeah. much went out as, you know, it's similar. But that said, I don't know what, it, and I didn't, almost didn't put this, but I'm like, I have a very guilty pleasure for Panda Express. It's not even good Chinese food. Uh-huh. But I have an extremely guilty pleasure for Panda Express. If it's ever an option, I am going to pick it. Huh. For no reason other than I just really like crappy Chinese food. <laughs> like, it could be terrible Chinese food. I will still like it. And Panda Express is one of those guilty pleasures. So I was like, I know that if I had a choice between the two, I would end up picking Panda Express. Yeah, no. At least for food. I mean, if we're talking like I want a fucking like, dessert yeah. slushy, then I'm, yeah, I'm going to Sonic. But you don't go, that, you don't go to Panda Express because like, they don't have yeah. it. Yeah. But I don't know. I have it. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, so I did end up putting it Very Panda interesting. <laughs> See, okay. I've had Panda Express <coughs> once, and that's exactly what it is. It's shitty mm-hmm. Chinese food. Like 100% shitty Chinese food. <laughs> so for me, <laughs> like, real Chinese food. I'd rather go anywhere else for Chinese food than Panda Express. I'm not going to lie. Like, but... literally anywhere else. Um, it's only Sonic. one fast food place, <laughs> only one fast food place, though. It's Panda Express. So um, I love Sonic. I did not grow up on Sonic. Because there oh, is yeah, not yeah. Like, yeah, a Sonic do they, not, they don't exist on the East Coast, do they? They do. They do? I was going to say, I'm like, there was never any near us. At least I don't think so. They're I didn't very, see it until I got to college. Yeah, I feel like they're very... I think there was a time where Sonic was very wide known. Um, but uh, now they're more sparse. Um, and I can't tell you when I actually discovered a Sonic... Mm-hmm. But it's magic. It really it's is. It's so magic. And I know it was in my, like, kind of adult life. Like, mm-hmm. it was later in life. And um, now it's, like, my thing. I love Sonic. And uh, where Caitlin lives in Virginia, they're, they live near Sonic. Mm-hmm. So, literally, if I'm having a hissy fit, they'll be like, get in the car. And they'll drive me to Sonic and get me... Um, me and Alex always get the... Uh, Blue raspberry with uh, the pop rocks in it. Yeah, that I love the little oh, like the little um, like nerd pop rocks things. Yeah, yeah they well they have nerds. They also have pop rocks. Oh, they too. Oh, I guess yeah. they did, didn't they? I guess I just thought they were all nerds. <laughs> um, but you have to get the blue raspberry with the pop rocks. So fucking bomb. That was his concoction that he mm-hmm. came up with, and like he let me try it, and I was like, bitch, get me ten. Um, they had like a special green one at one point um, at ours, the one mm. in, the, in Missouri, and I can't remember what it was, but I remember that was like my favorite. I don't know if it was like a strawberry kiwi or something, Ooh, or like a green yeah. apple, or was some some really interesting one, and it, it got it had, like nerds in it too. Yeah, and that that was like I mean for like a solid week, I probably had that like every day. Yeah, yeah. No, I love me some Sonic, and their tots. They have tater tots. Oh yeah, that's right. They, that that was the first thing I had from Sonic. I don't know if it was my friend Karen or someone that was just like try some of these. I'd never been to Sonic. And yeah. They were like, oh, and then yeah. showed me the tater tots and I ate them. And I was like, I don't even like tater tots. I'm oh, not gonna lie. I don't. Love it's kind of like tots. I don't really like. I don't like when they have like potato side dishes. Usually, mm. they're not really my thing. I mm. think they're fine, but I don't care about them. Mm. But those tater tots, I was like, give me more. I'm gonna stick the. And then I just would dip them in ketchup or whatever else I had available to me. And yeah. Like, yeah. My <laughs> order for Sonic is the blue raspberry with pop rocks, <coughs> and then um, a family size mm. box of tater tots with a fuck ton of ketchup. Like Fair I enough. love Sonic. We actually have one in like the vicinity of us. Like it would take us a hop, skip, and a jump possibly yeah. to get there. But I know I was out and I found a Sonic and I sobbed in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Like, sobbed. Because I was like, oh my god, there's a fucking Sonic. Oh my god, bitch. Anyway, okay. Sonic Anyway, one. <laughs> we go on. Um, Church's Chicken Pizza Hut. I don't even know what Church's Chicken is. But I do like nope. Pizza Hut. Girl, some I pizza love Pizza Hut. <laughs> some Pizza Hut. Because they are the only place with stuffed crust pizza. I love and... Pizza Hut pizza. Oh. I, Always see, will. I never... 
Again, I never got to grow up on Pizza Hut because we did not have a Pizza Hut. Well, near we didn't us. really grow up on Pizza Hut, but I liked Pizza Hut. I yeah. always like we had when we were at Pants asked like where do we, where do you want to get pizza from? I always voted for Pizza Hut, but they always wanted something else. Yeah, which was mad- maddening. So we never really got it from Pizza Hut. We didn't have the option of Pizza Hut. Interesting. Oh, that's why you were living in a very small town anyway. Yeah. Um, but I remember I had it like probably twice in my young years. Mm-hmm. And then I remember when we moved here, I was like, oh, I could really, like, I want some stuffed crust pizza. And I, like, was like, where do you get that? Oh, Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. And then I found out we have, we can get Pizza Hut delivered here. And that has, like, Papa John's used to be my, like, pizza of choice. It's changed so much to just Pizza Hut. Like, that's, like, the only pizza I'll order because stuffed crust pizza. Yeah. Sounds about right. They're like <laughs> new ultimate cheesy. It's fucking bullshit. It's not good. <laughs> Just so you know. <coughs> but yeah, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. All right. Subway versus White Castle. Subway all the way. I love Subway. Yeah. Fucking Subway. I will fuck with Subway. Eat fresh. Honestly, Subway was always my road trip favorite. And on mm. and actually, I thought when I first went through this bracket, when I you know I don't know if you remember we were sitting there. Yeah. And I said like, oh, I know which one's gonna win. I thought it was gonna be Subway right off the bat. Then I ran into something else. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, wait, never mind. But Subway is one of my favorite places to go. I just, I like, like, oh, someone's going to meatball sub, and I love the meatball subs. Mm-hmm. I personally love tuna subs, and I put tuna, mm. pickles, lettuce. I know it sounds very healthy. Um, yeah. <laughs> and honestly, but I love tuna sandwiches. It's okay. I have and a Subway order, too. Awesome. <laughs> I, if you haven't noticed. Or the Italian sub. I like that, too. See, yeah. I... And every place that I go, I get, like, one thing. Like, I have True. one thing that, like, that is my order every time I go. Um, and for me, Subway, it's, um, I'll get an Italian without, like, tomatoes or... I get all that shit. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's, like, meat, cheese, lettuce, oregano, maybe oil if I'm feeling crazy. Um, oh, yeah, I love when they put, like, they have, the, like, this, not marinara, but it's, like, this, um, vinaigrette kind of thing they put on it that oh. makes it almost kind of sour. Even no. sour, and I love it oh. so much. And I get—I have to make sure I have that on my Italian. I'm like, yes. And then they close it on up, and then I get myself a bag of chips, and I'll shove those chips in that. Oh, can we get Subway today? It makes me want Subway. Maybe. We'll think of it. After this, we're going to want a lot of food. Do we have a Subway even near us? Okay. Walmart. Let's. Oh, you're right. Okay. There's also one in Bruno Park. There's a lot of subways near us. Good. I actually haven't seen them, so I wasn't paying attention, but I forgot there's one right in the fucking Walmart. Yeah. Anyway. We can go anyway. to Walmart after this. That's true. <laughs> anyway, let's let's continue. Yeah. Um, Chipotle versus Papa John's. This was okay. so hard for me. I can't say it was hard for me. Oh, Here's it was the, so hard. There is, okay, I have some vendetta against Chipotle. Um, <laughs> and I don't know what it is, really. Feel that tea, bitch. It, there's really no tea. Oh. It's just, once Chipotle made me kind of sick. Oh. Um, and I still, like, I like what Chipotle has. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'll go other places and get the same thing I would probably get at Chipotle. Like, I yeah. like, you know, those classic Mexican food or, like, burritos and stuff like that. I would always get a burrito bowl. It's just a weird thing against Chipotle. And I think it's just, I went so often with friends and just, mm. I got sick of it. And I didn't eat it that much, but I just got sick of being around it. <laughs> and it's not that I don't like it. Like, I'm sure it's very good. I just, just this weird, like, personal vendetta against Chipotle. It's so interesting. And I don't know what it is. And I'm sure you're fine, actually, Chipotle. And I would actually love to eat you. It's just, and also, you were just really expensive. And adding, adding, like, a bunch of extra money for Glock was just really pissing me off for yeah, a while. Yeah, it's like two bucks for I Glock. I was like, excuse like me. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it, anyway, I digress. So I ended up choosing Papa John's because I do have... A, Papa John's people around the country know me. <laughs> Yeah, right. They certainly knew me in Missouri. <laughs> so Yeah, see So I'm I'm giving them the vote simply because they know me and they took very good care of me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Papa John's. Um for me, like I love Chipotle. <coughs> like I had Chipotle yesterday. Like I fuck with Chipotle. Like I love me a chicken burrito. Um but for me like Papa John's fed me in college. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, when I, that's exactly it. They knew me in college. Like, yeah. I would order at three in the morning. Someone would be there and be like, here you go, Dominique. And I'm like, Yeah, legitimately, Hi. Though, <laughs> Like, I I went to school for theater, and I lived inside of that's our true, theater. That's true, yeah. So you ordered pizza. So I literally didn't have food, and I would order Papa John's pizza, and I 
would have pizza for the entire day. And, like, that, like, that's, I <coughs> lived on Papa John's. And, like, basically, like, a lot of delivery services don't know how to deliver to the theater building. Yeah. Um, but Papa John's did because they would give me food, like, all the time. To the point where, like, all the delivery guys would be like, oh, it's the same bitch ordering pizza. I know where to go. Yeah, exactly. And it was amazing. Like, I didn't have to, like, because other places, if I ordered from anywhere else, I would have to be like, well, you have to go here and yeah. do that. Like, like I said, Papa John's takes very good care of us. Yeah. I think we, we've, yeah, we've, we've had similar stories in that regard, where yeah. they just took care of us. Yeah. By the way, I wish they had Jimmy John's on here, because I want to give them, I would love oh. to give them a vote, if only because... Jimmy John's the delivery guy once helped me build my computer. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's and right. I didn't even order Jimmy John's. See, I would <laughs> honestly pick Jimmy John's over Subway. I love Jimmy John's. I've only paid for Jimmy John's once. I would still pick Subway <gasps> just because of Subway, but I, I would love to give Jimmy John's yeah. a vote. If only, again, because they also took pretty good care they, of me, even when I didn't order shit. I was going to say, they took really good care of me because... Um, I will vote for the people who took care of me. We, uh... You earned it. Again, I went to school for theater, and uh, we had a Jimmy John's, I guess, near us. I had no idea. I've never been to that Jimmy John's. But they would send out their employees with, like, half subs oh. and hand them out to students on, oh, like, random days. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, and, like, <coughs> the employees, like, they would come to the theater building, and, like, most of them, they would be, like... You're sitting like every time I walk into this building, you're sitting in that chair. Do you move? And I'm like, no, fam. This is where I live. This is my home. I don't leave. I sleep in the theater. Yeah. And they'll be like, here's two. And I'll be like, <laughs> oh, okay. Jimmy John. So like, hey, I would Jimmy get like John a full f- spot. <laughs> yeah, I would get like a free full sub because like the employees just didn't give a fuck. They'd just be like, here, like, or they would ask, like, do you want ham or turkey? And then they would just hand you two of whatever you chose. And, like, yeah. they're a fucking bomb. I love them. Cool, cool. Jimmy John's days. But anyway, yeah, so just, just a shout out to Jimmy John's, even though they're not on this <laughs> list for some reason. Well, they should be, because what the fuck is Church's Chicken or Long John Silver's? Right? Like, what? You don't know what Long John Silver's is? No, I actually, I really, that's the one I actually literally have never heard of. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Okay, well, at least, anyway. at least someone knows about it, because I'm just like, does that even exist? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, Arby's versus In-N-Out. Um, honestly, I don't really care for either, so I knew just putting In-N-Out because oh. I've been there. <laughs> I don't See, remember if I went. I'm pretty sure I went to Arby's, but I don't remember it at all. Oh, I fuck with Arby's. That's okay. my dad's favorite fast like, food restaurant. I honestly restaurant. don't know what it um, is. <laughs> really. If there's an Arby's in the vicinity, like, I didn't have a choice as a child. Like, Fair. it was like... You know, like, parents would be like, do you want to go to Burger King, McDonald's, or Taco Bell? Yeah. Like, and, like, but, like, if there was an Arby's, like, there wasn't a choice. It was, like, we're getting Arby's for lunch. Mm-hmm. That's my dad's favorite. Um, they're have, they have curly fries. Yeah. I will say, I have had their curly I do Ooh. remember having their curly fries, and their curly fries are the bomb. Yeah. But I ended um, up just putting in and out because I was like, I haven't had a burger there. I yeah. guess their burger was probably good. <laughs> yeah, In and Out. Like, I really didn't know what to put there. I'm not gonna lie. So I just put In and Out because I'm like, I, yeah. I know I've been there and I think I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, In and Out is like one step down from like Five Guys. Like for me, like I feel like their okay, so burgers honestly, are very similar. I don't remember, and I guess I, I like yeah. these. Are, this is one of those situations where it's like I haven't lived around enough fast food to really know. Yeah, and I know it existed. I've seen it. I yeah. saw it a lot, but I just didn't go there yeah arby's is bomb it's one of those things anyway i'm sure arby's again bomb. i'm sure i went there i just can't remember yeah sometimes they just kind of blend together yeah um so steak and shake versus dunkin donuts two very different places but very steak different shake. steak and shake for me has uh-uh. to be all the way because uh-uh. oh okay so I, I, have a, I have a lot of stories about steak and shake and i'm not gonna bother sharing them but steak and shake has 100 i remember this was an interesting one so my friend akira she visited me in columbia uh-huh. um for college and she fell in love with Steak and Shake. We literally went every single day. Jesus. And their shakes so were sorry. bomb. We had the their garlic steak burger was the best. Uh they were and they were so nice to, to us, um, mm-hmm. to all of us. And like we, we went off to the mouth, like, you know, they, you know, sometimes like at some point, especially during that weekend with the Kira, they definitely knew who we were. They took very good care of us. They gave us a free shake. Like, I don't think Akira was there for that one. I think this was a different time. Yeah. But, like, they gave us free shit. Like, they were just, it was one of those places I went where it's just, like, I felt, I felt like a hangout. Gotcha. Um, and okay. I just had a, and I just had a great time. And also just their burgers to me, like, it's kind of like the Five Guys burgers where it's, like, their burgers to me were, at least at that location, that's the only yeah. steak and shake location I've ever really been to. Yeah. Um, was the bomb. 
See, the first time I got Steak and Shake, it was not good. She was not cute. She was not good. I didn't like it. <coughs> um, it fucking shakes. I had it. Bomb. They. I actually had it on the East Coast. Even though I, I know, know. We had them on the East Coast. Yeah. Um, I knew it was an L.A. thing, but I ate it on the East Coast. And the employees were not nice. They were not like. Huh. Well, East Coast. <laughs> um, I've had it. I think two to three times on the West Coast, and I do like it better over here. Um, on the East Coast, they were really snooty. Must be, yeah. Like, um, it's always about experience. Like, I had a great yeah. experience at Steak and Shake, and you know, I just, I just yeah. love how Akira just fell so in love with yeah. it. I love seeing like friends who like come and visit places, and they fall in love with something that's in your area. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Steak and Shake was just one of those places. Yeah. And I didn't even go through it that often before, but then I started going um, more. And I love Steak and Shake. And their shakes were great when yeah. I could actually have them. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, they were so good. Um, it was like a mint one. Oh, I'm sorry. I for just, me. I love me some Steak and Shake. Yeah, no, I don't I don't really fuck I with always it. Will. So, um, But I picked Dunkin' Donuts simply because I used to go to Dunkin' Donuts all the time. We used to as a kid. Because oh, my, well, one, for donuts, but two, um, when I got in college, one of my friends worked at Dunkin' Donuts, and I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. Oh, but you like their coffee? No. He knew me, and, like, I could be like, Philip, like, give me something with caffeine. Oh. And he would make me something that he knew I would enjoy the taste. Oh, that's so, so nice. So, it had nothing to do with actually the <coughs> restaurant itself. It just, my friend worked there, and, like, he could give me what I wanted. And I also love their blueberry donut holes. So good. No, yeah, they have, they have great... It's two different things, and I yeah. really, like, I want to let Dunkin' Donut go forward one, because I really... Yeah. I have also good memories attached to Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. However, again, like, Steak and Shake to me, I'm just like, to me, is a fast food place. Like, that, that is that is a clear winner to me. Yeah. Just as... Just in my Can't experience relate, but with, with also, Steak and I guess, Shake. respect... <laughs> You never know. Like, everyone always has different experiences places. So, yeah. like, you know, if you have it, kind of like with me and Wendy's. Like, I had one yeah. bad experience and I'm sitting here like, bitter! <laughs> yeah. Um, that said, though, on the next one, Wendy's versus also Boston Market. Also very hard for me. I don't... What's a oh, Boston no, Market? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> what's a oh, Boston Market? Oh, bless. Because um, I don't know, so I ended up putting Wendy's that was like, I only put you here because I don't know what the other one is. Oh. And I wanted to be bitter and just put Boston Market, but I, I couldn't do it because I didn't know what it was. Boston Market? Well, one, they're, I think they're pretty trashy now, but um, they're like the definition of comfort food. Like, they have macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, like, all of that, like, very fattening. Like, they have, like, baked beans, like... Everything that like clogs okay. your arteries. Well, then I guess I would like. I could, I've like I've heard of it. I've definitely yeah. heard of it. And honest, again, I just, what could be one of those things I have gone to. I just don't remember it. Yeah. But I'm lo- thinking, and I'm just looking. I'm like, what the fuck is a Boston market? You can get like corn. Like okay, so it's almost like that weird like KFC ish thing. But it's not like KFC, KFC <laughs> but if like KFC expanded to like just sides. Oh, well, that's strange. Yeah, it's... I mean, uh, with KFC, it would probably work. Like I'd buy. It. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Well, I mean, I probably would like it, but I'd yeah. put Wendy's again because I didn't know. I used to love Boston Market as a kid, but then I realized how bad it was for you, so I don't eat it anymore, and I haven't had it since I was really young, um, but I fuck with Wendy's really hard. Like, Wendy's is honestly one of my favorite burgers that fair. I eat. Fair, fair. So. I'm sure, I, I haven't had a Wendy's burger. I actually don't know if I've ever had a Wendy's burger. Because mm, the other times yeah. we got something else, I don't remember what it was. Honestly, I've gotten I don't a few it's been a burgers. Long time. Yeah, I've gotten a few Wendy's burgers that are dry, mm-hmm. um, which like equivalent to like a McDonald's dry. Yeah. Um, but normally Wendy's burgers are super fucking juicy. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Only so much you can say about Wendy's right now. Uh, Hardee's slash Car. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Um, wait, wait, so Carl's Jr. was Hardee's? Carl's Jr. is West Coast, Hardee's is East Coast. But it's the same restaurant. It's the same restaurant. What? Yeah. I didn't know that because this whole time I was like, I've never been to Carl's Jr. Yeah. But I've definitely been to Hardee's. Yeah. So I'm like, why are they putting it in the same fucking bracket? It's two different restaurants. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's fun. Well, I still put Chick-fil-A on that bracket. Yeah. Um, 
the Chick Fil A food is actually like pretty good. Oh, their it's waffle fries, amazing. the Chick Fil A sauce in yeah, the, the Chick-fil-A winter sauce. when they have they're, that they're little, peppermint. Like, the little like nuggets. Oh, oh, and their chicken biscuits. Oh, I'm sorry. Their peppermint milkshake. Oh. Chicken biscuits, their little, uh, oh my god, all of that. Because we used to order that for like sometimes breakfast at my other work. Mm. We get like big things of them, and because I usually get the set amount, I would always get first. <laughs> I would get it. Oh, it's so good. I'm sorry. I'm like having Chick-fil-A. a great. I do love Chick Fil A food. Another guilty pleasure that I'm like, this is terrible for me, but I'm gonna eat it all. Yeah. All right, <coughs> Domino's with Whataburger. Never had Whataburger. Same. Um, I did put Domino's. So I do like me some pizza. Oh yeah. Like, I, honestly, I don't think I've had Domino's pizza itself in a while, but you know what? I used to like Domino's pizza. I'm going to vote Domino's, you know? At the first college I went to, I lived <coughs> on Domino's. Um, Domino's I was the closest get... to the J school for us. Like, it was yeah. right across the street. Um, so. I would uh, get lava cakes. Like, there was one mm, night I got, like, six right. lava cakes for myself. Like, we, I remember us just simply ordering lava cakes at times, like, we wouldn't even order pizza. We would just order lava cakes. And, um, we would, all, like, we would go down, like, the hallway. Because mm-hmm. we had, like, at, for some reason, like, one side of the hallway was, like, all girls. And the other side, like, had a few boys, also girls. But, like, I remember going down the line of, like, girl rooms and being like, yo, who wants lava cakes? And, like, we would all get together, put our money in a pile, and then one person would order lava cakes for, like, the whole thing, and, like, we would all, like, split the price. Mm -hmm. Like. Sounds great, honestly. (laughs) We would just sit around and eat lava cakes. But, yeah, Domino, sorry to, like, all you people from, I guess, Texas. Is that where Whataburger is? (laughs) Is it just Texas? I don't fucking know. Because everyone in Texas seems to think Whataburger is, like, the gospel. Yeah. Like, everyone should live on Whataburger, and I'm sitting here, like, I don't. What what's a, what, what's Whataburger? <laughs> yeah, I can't really. <laughs> so sorry, guys. But even if I did have it, I'd probably just be like, "Well, it's another burger, I guess." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Anyway, Long John Silver's versus Taco Bell. I picked Taco Bell. Don't even yeah. know what Long John Silver's is. Also, Taco Bell's good. Also, Taco Bell's bomb. Um, I'm not, not gonna lie. I love. I do Long love John Taco Silver's Bell is like a fish place. Oh, fish fast food. That's a like game. fish sandwiches and like. Oh. Um, they have hush puppies and <coughs> still never heard of it. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, back home we had a Long John Silver Taco Bell combo. We also had a um, <coughs> KFC Taco Bell combo. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, KFC Taco Bell. Okay. Well, but Taco Bell won because Taco we've Bell. gone through all of them now. So now let's like start narrowing them down. Yeah. So we have the same for like a few of them. Yeah, I think I think the first bracket is completely yeah. the same. McDonald's versus Dairy Queen. I did pick Dairy Queen. Interesting. I McDonald's. Dairy Queen is one, even though I can't have any of it now. Yeah. I will support until the end of the world. Oh, bro, so I, I love me some me, Mickey D's. I do love Mickey D's, but if if I had the choice, if I could actually get Dairy Queen, I would get that all the fucking time. No, McDonald's like though. hits me, man. So Dairy Queen, I support you. McDonald's. Um, and but then, that, that said, I get McDonald's probably more often than anything on this list at this point, just yeah. because it's just convenient. Yeah. Um, so next is Five Guys versus KFC. I actually picked KFC. KFC yeah. has the better food in the end. Yeah. I love me some Five Guys, but it's fucking KFC. Yeah. So, so. Um, <laughs> so McDonald's versus KFC. Yeah. What did you pick? Uh, McDonald's. Okay. And I had Dairy Queen versus KFC. Mm-hmm. And I pick KFC again. Like, I do like, again, I, respect. I support you, but uh, KFC, I just, yeah. there's a thing about it. There's just a thing. We didn't get it that often at home, actually. Yeah. But when I got it on my own, I was like, yes. Yeah. So, KFC. Something for everyone. Yeah. So, McDonald's, like, went all the way up for me. <laughs> and KFC went all the way up for me. Cool. Respect. I respect. Yeah. Um. So, for me, we it bur- was. We have Burger King versus Panera for that. I think yeah. We did. I picked Panera. Same. Panera, again, is great. Um. And you have, you, at this point, you had Sonic versus Pizza Hut, right? Yeah. I assume you're going to pick Sonic at that point. Correct. I was going to say, that that makes the most sense for you. I could see that. Yeah. I had pa- uh, Panda Express versus Pizza Hut. And I actually picked Panda Express again. It must go. Me and my crappy Chinese food must go <laughs> on. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I had Panera versus Sonic and Sonic one for me. I had Panera versus Panda Express, and it's Panera. Like, yeah. In the end, crappy Chinese food can only go so far. Yeah, right. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I think we're the same at this Subway and Papa John's. Yep. I'm assuming you let 
uh, Subway go up. I did. I took Papa John's. Okay, I can see that for you. That garlic sauce, I, man. I feel like subs only go so far for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. They normally have vegetables on them. Yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> subs only go so far. It's like, it's got meat, I guess. Yeah. And cheese. Well, but... the, the thing is, is that I actually really <coughs> love subs. Really? Like, I actually really do. Like, okay. if I could have a sub a day, I would. <coughs> but, like, I'm I dying. Sorry. also love <coughs> fattening food. Fair. Yeah, I can see Papa John's. And I really, I like, of course, I would love to let Papa John's go farther, but Subway has yeah. a special place in my heart. Which makes sense. Papa John's, you, you, you serve me well, but Subway is just, if I had to pick. Yeah. So the next one we have completely different, because you have In-N-Out yep. versus Steak and Shake. Yes, I do. You know Steak and Shake wins that one. For yeah. Me. I'm just for me, I had Arby's and Dunkin' Donuts, and Arby's had to win fucking nice. curly fries okay. for days. Yeah, those curly fries really are good. Like, now that you're reminding yeah. me of them, I'm like, I wish I put Arby's there instead of In-N-Out, because I actually had those. But at the yeah. same time, Steak and Shake still would have won, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, next, I have Wendy's versus Chick-fil-A. And I had Wendy's versus Chick-fil-A, and I picked Chick-fil-A. Same. Which was actually a really, really hard one for me. Because, really? like I said, like, Wendy's is, like, my favorite, like, burger. Like, if That's I'm going to get a burger, I go to Wendy's. At some point, maybe I'll go actually get Wendy's for real. Yeah. Um, but, honestly, what pushed Chick-fil-A over Wendy's? And, like, I love me a fucking Frosty. Like, a Wendy's Frosty. Ugh. But, um... What pushed it over was the peppermint shakes for me and the Chick Fil A sauce, because mm-hmm. those are two things that I hardcore. For me, it's their like chicken biscuit thing, always. Like you know what I'm talking about? I don't actually no. know what it's called. I only like, get the nugs. What? It's like this like buttery biscuit, uh-huh. and then there's chicken in it, and you eat it, and it's delightful. <laughs> are you sure you eat it? No, sometimes I stick it up my ass, but uh, you know, okay. <laughs> just <laughs> with Chick Fil A, literally kidding but <laughs> but is she did i say this was family friendly i didn't no. <laughs> um okay so next i have domino's versus taco bell same and i picked taco bell on that same one. again Do- domino's pizza only goes so far but oh i just realized we didn't like continue this out did we not no okay so i had panera versus sonic sonic one. Oh, oh wait we did do that one okay so next was papa john's versus arby's for me yeah, which we, i said we did do that one we oh we did one. and papa john's went all the way out for me. Oh, yeah. We didn't go all that far. No. Oh, okay, guys. Backtrack a little bit. Yeah. So, for the first bracket, for me, KFC won. For the second bracket, Panera won. I think we, we did those. Yeah. It's the third bracket we missed out on. Yeah. So, I had Subway versus Steak and Shake, and this was the toughest one because those are my two favorites on this entire yeah. list. Um, so, Steak and Shake won that one out, ultimately. Okay. And it was a tough decision, but it did. Um, anyway, um, so that's mine. I know you had Papa John's, right? Yeah. And then I had Chick-fil-A versus Taco Bell, and Taco Bell won for me. Same. So, our top four for me is McDonald's, Sonic, Papa John's, Taco Bell. KFC, Panera, Steak and Shake, and Taco Bell. Okay. Um, between McDonald's and Sonic, I picked McDonald's. Okay. And then finish yours out since we have completely different ones. Okay. Much. <laughs> and then Papa John's versus Taco Bell, Taco Bell won. Okay. McDonald's and Taco Bell, Taco Bell I was going to say, like, if you have McDonald's versus Taco Bell, Taco Bell wins. Would you say that that's, what, that's your favorite fast food place? No. That's so weird how that happens to yeah. you. Yeah. Like, which one would you have wanted to win? Um, I think in my head it would have been like when, like my first gut reaction was like Wendy's or like Sonic. But like, how come Wendy's then win against Taco Bell then? Oh, because you had Wendy's versus Chick Fil A. Yeah, Chick Fil A somehow. Yeah, that's weird. It, I think it always has to do with like just like depends what's against each other because sometimes there's like one thing about something else yeah. that sticks out, even and though I the think, other one overall is better. Yeah, I think. And, like, for me, especially with food, is I get, like, like, I'm, I swear to God, I'm constantly, like, a pregnant woman. I always have cravings. Yeah. And if, like, one thing, like, like, triggered my brain, like, when I thought Chick-fil-A, I thought about that peppermint milkshake, and I was like, oh, that is the only thing I can think about right now. It's funny, I do these things, and I know I said this, I said before that, like, sometimes your favorite doesn't win, Mm -hmm. but for me, it tends to. Mm-hmm. Because I am very it, overall. N- never. Again, for me, it was, for me, it is uh, it is ultimately overall. Which is so I ended up having KFC versus um, Panera, and KFC actually won. That was a really tough one for me. Okay. That was like they're two very different things for very different moods, mm-hmm. and they both yeah. are actually like very good overall. But I was like, if I had to pick one, I'd probably actually pick KFC. It's just generally good. Yeah. And then I had Steak and Shake versus Taco Bell. Steak and Shake won, and then KFC versus Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake one, mm-hmm. so Steak and Shake, and actually that that is my favorite on this list, so it worked out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean for me also the weird thing is, is that 
I used to be so obsessed with Taco Bell. Taco Bell was my life. Yeah. And recently, I've been leaning. I've been leaning to El Taco. Mm. Like, and I feel like I'm trading Taco Bell. I'm really like, mad at you. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Del Taco, man, I fucks with it. All right. So it looks like this is going to be an extra long podcast just for you. Yeah. So it's going to be a little long, but fine. this one I think will go. I, I don't think Maybe. we need well, to we'll have. See. So starch madness. Which potato is the best potato? Yes. So it's just a bunch of versions of potato. And we're definitely going to disagree on this. Yeah. I respect anything you choose because I know they're all ultimately good. Yeah. I just have very weird and distinct preferences when it comes to food. Yeah. <laughs> um, the good news is I don't think we have, I mean, we could probably give you potato stories, but. Yeah, I don't really have many, but the only story I'll have is probably for my top choice. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, there's another one, but it's okay. Anyway, um, um, steak fries versus waffle fries. I'm going to guess waffle. you pick waffle. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I pick steak fries. I love me some steak fries. I, like, couldn't even, like, figure out what's, are those the thick ones? They're really thick fries. Okay. Yeah. I don't okay. really know how else to explain that. No, I... But they're really thick and hearty, like a stick yeah. and juicy. Yeah. <laughs> no, not yeah. really juicy, but they're, they're kind of like that. Yeah. No, I steak love fries are good. Steak fries. And mostly because when I think of fries, I think of something I can dip in, like, ketchup. And I also mm. like dipping my fries in mustard sometimes because I'm a mustard whore. <laughs> I love me some mustard. Some Dijon mustard, some plain mustard. I love mustard. Not on um, fries. Yeah, I'll dip, I'll dip in some fucking mustard. It's also mm-hmm. good for you. <laughs> um, anyway. No, yeah, I mean... Steak fries. Waffle me. fries, man. Regular ass French fries versus curly fries. I you must have curly. Curly. I, mean, I like my regular ass French fries. Oh uh, no, I love me some garlic fries. They're so fun and they spoil. I think sometimes for me, it's just some of the curly fries I've had in the past have been very crunchy. Uh, and when it comes to fries, I don't like when it that, comes to like fries, mushy I don't like potato. Them, no, like crunchy. I like them more mushy or not mushy, but more like almost like they're raw, but not raw. Like. Like the like they've been more like almost like the like they've been curly fries have often been almost like they're burnt, and I oh. like I like burnt things so I love burnt bacon and I you know all all sorts of other things. When it comes mm-hmm. to fries, I don't like that. Interesting. So I just pick regular ass ones because I'm just yeah. like eh. no. We got to get you to Arby's. Get you some real. I do curly like fries. again the Arby curly fries have were good. Um, mashed potatoes versus baked potatoes. My two favorite potatoes, obviously, right against each other, but I pick mashed. So you already know what my winner is right off the bat there. <laughs> you already know what mashed my potatoes absolute winner is. Is. I love I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> um I had this friend in college named Sam and favorite potato in the world. <laughs> um she used to we would drink and um she would we would come back to my apartment and she would literally make me the best instant mashed potatoes I've ever mm-hmm. had. Oh so you like, eat instant. I do eat instant. I That's didn't great. I didn't growing up, um, mm-hmm. but college, I was like, I want mashed potatoes. Best thing to do is instant. My dad also got me on mm-hmm. instant potatoes because he's a single man and loves his instant potatoes. My mom never did that. She always made fresh mashed potatoes, yeah. and it was like you with the sour cream and the cheese and the yeah. garlic salt. and uh, But Sam would literally the make them with, like, milk and, yeah, like, milk. Yep. um she would put cheese in it and they were literally the best. Like, I remember I felt so bad because like she was normally more intoxicated than I would be. Mm -hmm. Um, cause I don't drink that often, but she legitimately would like, I'd be like, Sam, can you make me drunk mashed potatoes? Cause that's what I thought. Like they were just mashed potatoes, but like to me, they were like drunk mashed potatoes. And I was like, Sam, you got to make me drunk mashed potatoes. And she's like, I'm tired. I'm like, no, Sam, you got to get up. You got to make me drunk mashed potatoes. So uh, I would kill for Sam potatoes. I just like mashed potatoes. Honestly, I've been meaning to keep making them all here because they're not hard. Mm-mm. They're really easy. I just don't. I always forget. And also, peeling yeah. potatoes is kind of obnoxious. Yeah. Not gonna lie. But anyway, um, scalloped potatoes versus stuffed potato skins. Stuffed potato skins. I really mm. love those. Scalloped. I don't really know what scalloped potatoes means. They're like whenever you take a potato and like you like they're very thinly cut. Oh. Oh, that's what they are. Okay, yeah. well, I'll still pick stuffed potato skins because I really like that shit. Mm, I love, like, scalloped potatoes also are normally, like, cheesy. Maybe that's probably why probably I... Probably not. Yeah. But, I would uh, never have liked yeah. that. No, I feel... Yeah, oh, yeah, I will say that, like, I don't... I let, I learned to like cheese. It took me a long time to like cheese, but I learned to like it, of course, about the same time when I stopped being able to really eat, it. eat dairy. I still sometimes do yeah. eat cheese. 
Um, I shouldn't, but I do. Um, but cheese on potatoes has never been something I like, Ugh. except in mashed potatoes. Ugh, girl. That's the only time. My cheese diet on potatoes, is potato, no. cheese, and bread. Anyway, <laughs> hash browns versus potato latkes, and we had potato latkes as a kid. Mm-hmm. It's a very Jewish thing. Yeah. So. I mean, that makes sense for you, but. Um, and I like you dip them in applesauce and mm-hmm. thing. Girl, hash browns all the fucking that, way. That's one of those ones where they have them on the sides. All the time I told you there are some potatoes they have on the sides that I just don't like eating. Like with breakfast, mm-hmm. you get like an omelet and hash browns, and I yeah. never ate the hash browns. Well, great. We need to go to breakfast places yeah, together. Yeah, you can just so eat can... them. It's not that I don't like them. It's just that, look, I only have a limited amount of space in my stomach. I'm going to eat the omelet. You no, I will 100% eat the hash browns <coughs> over the omelet. There have been several times, like, I've been going to Denny's a lot more recently. Yeah. I will just get sides of hash browns. Yeah, everyone always loves hash browns, and I don't know what it is. I'm like... But it has to be the skinny shaved ha- hash brown. I couldn't tell Not you. the, like, cubed potato hash okay. brown. Okay, okay, that... Okay, now I get you thing. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, potato chip versus tater tots. I'm sure you picked tater tots. Surprisingly, no. Oh, well, really? I was going to say, because I picked potato chips. I love me some potato I chips. I did. This one was actually really hard for me because I am definitely Napoleon Dynamite who puts tater tots in their pocket. Yeah. But at the same time, I will reach for potato chips more often. Okay. Because they're more convenient and, like, there are so many flavors. There are. Potato chips are just very versatile. They're very fun. I mean, any yeah. potato really is. It is. I mean, you can have several flavored tots. But, but, like, but potato chips are nice and convenient. Yeah. And tasty. You yeah. can't go wrong. No. Anyway, Hasselback potatoes versus potato salad. I don't really like potato salads. Yeah. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then we looked up Hasselback potatoes at the time. I, I was like, want a those... Hasselback potato so Yeah, bad. I was like, I've never had one, but it sounds absolutely delightful and I want it. <laughs> Same. Um, 100% yeah, look, look Hassel... Look it up, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Hasselback potato won for me at this time. <clears throat> Um, because there is only one potato salad I will eat mm-hmm. by one person. Okay. My Aunt Becky is the only potato salad I'll make, or I'll eat. Um, if Caitlin makes it, if my dad makes the exact same recipe, I will not eat it. That's funny. It always tastes different. Yeah. Like, you ha- like I have to know Becky made that, mm-hmm. and then I'll eat it. But that is the only potato. Like I don't like potato salads. I just, in general, don't like potato salads. I salad. normally don't. I'm sure there's one that I will have at yeah. one point and be like, that's pretty good. But yeah, so like I'll only eat one potato salad. So like, yeah, Hasselback all the way. I'm so into like yeah. finding someone. And the thing someone. is, we, we, haven't, we haven't like, we haven't even had this Hasselback yet. <laughs> no, but, but like I'm so delightful. intrigued. So Hasselback. Anyway, potato soup versus a raw potato because you're an animal. I did pick a raw potato because I don't like potato soup either. Oh, I like potato soup. I don't really like potato soup. Um, but, all, like, raw potatoes are so gross. But I was going to say, I actually really like raw stuff, and I do like raw potatoes. No. I will eat I will eat a raw potato. No. Like I said, I like you raw stuff. Are an so animal. like I will. I like, I like raw veggies. I like raw potatoes. For the most potatoes. part, I, I like, like raw, raw veggies. It's just like, I just like raw things in general. I don't know what, like, a raw fish. I love that. <laughs> I, I like. Oh wait, sushi. It's fine. Yeah. I was like, ew, raw fish. And yeah, I, I mean, like, yeah, obviously, like in a, in a certain way, like, <laughs> like yeah, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I, I have had raw potatoes before, and they are pretty good. Like, mm-hmm. I will do it. Put nope. a little bit of salt on it, you're good. Nope. And I don't really like. I haven't had many potato soups, but I don't really like them. They're kind of weird and bland. One hundred percent. I will take it, potato but... soup over a raw. But anyway, moving on. Okay, so I had waffle fries versus curly, mm-hmm. and I had curly win cool. for my top four. Cool. I had steak fries versus regular ass fries, and I picked steak fries. Well, yeah, totally. Makes sense. Easy. Um, next, I had mashed potatoes versus scalloped and mashed one. Good as it should. And yeah. mashed potatoes versus stuffed potato skins and mashed one as it should. <laughs> um, so I had hash browns versus potatoes and hash browns one. All right. I like how you had hash browns versus potatoes. Oh, potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have hash browns versus potatoes? I so know. I had potato versus potato and potato <laughs> one. <laughs> That's the definition of this. <laughs> That's pretty much this entire bracket, honestly. Um, yeah, no, I had potato latkes versus potato chips. And I actually had potato chips win. Very mm-hmm. versatile. Potato chips are great. Love yeah. potato chips. Um, I respect. Go ahead. Um, Hassleback versus potato soup. Hassleback. 
<laughs> Hasselback versus Raw, and I did pick Hasselback. Even though still, like, it got this far, yeah. we haven't even had it. <laughs> but it looks but so good. But it's that good. <laughs> Um, it looked amazing. So I had Curly versus Mashed, and Mashed won. <coughs> and then I had Hash Brown <laughs> versus Hasselback, and Hash Brown won. I had to stop the madness of the mashed potatoes. Of the no, of the Hasselback. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Okay. Because I hadn't had it. Um, so I had Mashed versus Hash Brown, and Hash Brown did win for me. As it shouldn't. As no, no, I, I get it. As I, much I get as it. I, I wanna... respect, everyone loves Hash Browns. I know. It's just me. Yeah, I'm it's the just weird one. I'm the weird one. I know. <laughs> For me, like, I like a little crunched my potato sometimes. Fair. And obviously, with mashed potatoes, you're not getting that crunch. Yeah, I don't want that. I do um, like chunky mashed potatoes, though. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's not chunk. It's not, it's not mm-hmm. harsh. What's the white we're using again? Crunch. It's yeah. not crunchy. It's just got chunks. I um. Like chunks. Oh, I don't like chunks in my potatoes. I know you. You said that before, actually, yeah. and we talked about this. I. I actually do. I love. Uh-huh. I like when there's. It's chunky. Uh-huh. Don't fuck with it. I don't. We don't generally make it that way, but. Yeah. I have asked for it that way before. Um. Yeah. So I have, steak fries versus mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes won. I mean, you could probably already tell. Like that. This mm-hmm. is good. That's how this is gonna go. Potato chips versus Hasselback. Yeah. The hat madness did stop, and I yeah. picked potato chips. Cause at that point, I'm like, look, I've never had this thing. <laughs> potato chips are great. Come on, dummy. Yeah. Um, and then mashed potatoes versus potato chips. Mashed potatoes did obviously win. Which I totally respect because that yeah. was my second choice. Yeah, in the end. So I, yeah. I respect that too. Again, I'm, I know I'm literally the only one. It's not that I don't like them. I will eat them. Yeah. Gladly. It's just, to me, they're like almost like a second thing where if I'm still hungry, I will eat it. Yeah. But that's literally the only reason. <laughs> well, I fuck with hot browns all my head. That's just how I am. But yeah, mashed potatoes are just everything to me. They're they're, yeah. they're, they're my mom. It's what my mom makes. I know she makes other things, but she makes mashed potatoes. <laughs> Specifically, Mom, only I know that. you make like 3,000 things, but like you mashed also po- make mashed potatoes. And that's really what matters here. <laughs> mashed potatoes Love are everything. That. And this, I'm not going to lie, this is part of the reason why like KFC got as far as it did. Yeah. Because of their fucking mashed potatoes. No, I feel that. Because their chicken's horrible. great. Everything else is great, but like they got mashed potatoes. And if yeah. you have mashed potatoes and they're good. Mm-hmm. Like, I like you. Yeah. No, so if absolutely. Boston Market has mashed potatoes, then maybe I'd like what they would have gotten farther. <laughs> yeah. No, you probably would have fucked hardcore with. Uh, <laughs> Me and mashed potatoes go way back. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Well, that was our potatoes. That, that was wasn't as bad. Like, we madness. definitely disagree, but it was one of the things where it's like, I don't really care that you No, I love, I love potatoes, so, like, anything that you picked, I no, respect Honestly, it. I was like, yeah, no, like, that's good, too. I just really like this one better. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> But cool. I mean, at least we know that we both like mashed potatoes. That's all I needed to know. Yeah. So That's now we I just need to, need to make mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, um, pick up those like moldy mashed potatoes that are on, uh, the potatoes that are on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have to do that at some point. Yeah, we have <laughs> three then, bags of potatoes in our house. And I'm pretty right now. sure some of them are bad. At least mine's been bad. Yeah. I need to like actually use my potatoes. I just forget that they're yeah. there. Oh, anyway. We need to have like a potato container. We do. Can we get a potato container? Just like a giant, like, just like a giant, like, glass. Like we have those black, yeah, crate. Oh, perfect. Just a crate a of crate potatoes. Of potatoes. Okay. I love that for us. That's what's happening. Anyway, um, we're, we came back. What do you, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, we did another March Madness bracket. What are your thoughts on that? Also, what is your favorite fast food and what is your favorite potato? And if does you your favorite s- potato affect the fact that it's your favorite fast food place? Oh, that's an interesting question. Yeah, did your potato choices affect your fast food choices? Because honestly, that's kind of true. Like, if you I, like, yeah. fri- like surprisingly, fry. I love fries, but they don't really get far on my like, yeah. potato bracket ever. Yeah, I, like I do these often. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> Just every week, another so potato fries, bracket. So fries, like you know, don't affect things as much for me. Surprisingly, yeah. You think they would? Because they're in every fast food thing. But that's you just said that, like. KFC went farther because Oh, it did, because of the fucking mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> like, so I didn't I'm, even think about that until we did this, and I was like, oh my god, that's exactly why they yeah. got as far as So, they like, did. I'm interested to see if, like, that's something that, like, <coughs> correlates for you. Um, but welcome back to listening, if you're yeah. listening. We're gonna keep going, or at least try to. <laughs> We're trying. We, girl. We've, we've planned shit we've again. We've planned shit. It's it's just you know things happen guys we have yeah. lives yeah basically like honestly why we took like a break was we had everything planned out and then like I, I, we just ran out of we just like planned everything out and then like didn't record more 
Yeah, like, we didn't plan something after happened. our plan was done. Yeah, I think we meant to, but then, like, something fell through, and then, like, yeah. you know, you had some big things going on, and yeah. then I was just having a, what was a mess. Yeah. And then you went to London, and then... Yeah, February, or er, January and February were kind of yeah. a mess for us, to be honest. Um, I had big, like she said, I had big things happening. It wasn't necessarily, like, a mess, like, in necessarily a bad way. It was just no. more of a mess in that there was a lot going on at once. Yeah. Yeah, and I but don't think we were, here. like, prepared. But, yeah, I think we're here. I think I think we're back. I think we're back. Um, we'll let you know if we we take breaks in the future. We'll, like, yeah. let you know beforehand. Yeah, we'll hopefully We'll try to plan those... them so we're not just, like, disappearing. Even yeah. though, like, you, you're probably one person who even knows. Yeah, there's probably, like, one like... person out there that's like, Hey, they haven't posted in a while. <laughs> but you didn't tell us, so shame on yeah, you. Yeah, shame for not us. yelling at us. Yeah, how dare, how dare you not care? Which is probably why we got so far without, like, realizing Honestly, we haven't yeah, put we're a just like, wait, Have we not posted? Like, literally the other day I was like, hey, Donna, when was the last time we posted a podcast? Yeah, like, and she was like, I don't know. I guess tarot cards in, like, early February, late December, late yeah. January or something? One of those two? Yeah. I don't honestly know. <laughs> so, yeah, we were like, okay, it's time to come back. And I, we planned we have out. some pretty great things coming up. Yeah, I think, I think uh, we planned out a few, and I think, um, I think it's very exciting to, like, see. Yeah, see what happens, know, see what I'm you excited. guys like. And um, as always, like, let us know if there's anything you want to hear us talk about. Yeah, because we can talk, obviously. We can definitely we talk. We talked about fast food and we potatoes talked about fast food for alone an hour. for, like, 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> like, and we talked about fast food alone for 40. Like, we had so many fast food stories. I didn't even know we would yeah. have that many fast food yes. stories. Please let me know if you wa- or listen to this podcast and had to stop for food on the way because like yeah no one hundred percent please yeah if you're driving and listening to this and you yeah. had to be like oh look a subway <laughs> yeah <laughs> like because like, honestly that would be me um, and I, I hope we did I hope we we have now encouraged you to go to some place and then they'll like clog your arteries and then they'll like sponsor us or something <laughs> and like <laughs> any even if you didn't make it to our top food if any fast food place is listening. Let us know. We'll change our back rates. <laughs> <laughs> our brackets will completely change. Yeah, no, we'll change it. We'll do another one and be like, psych, actually, this one wins. <laughs> For no reason, just because it does. You don't need to know. It's fine. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I hope you guys have, like, a great day. And, like, thank you for listening. And, like, comment, like, subscribe. Do all that do All of shit. the things. And we'll see you next week. Bye! Please stop yelling into the microphone. Never. Okay. <laughs> Bye.